Hey everyone, we were late today, I'm sorry. Um, we played outside and then we ate dinner and I looked up and I was like, oh, mystery it is late. So, we're going to just get started. I have two books I'm going to read. We're going to go over a letter. I have some construction vehicles I'm going to show you. And then we're going to do our calendar stuff. So, let's read. This book is called Dig. It looks like it's an excavator. Let's see. Sometimes I get my machines mixed up. It's fun to play in a sandbox. You can dig in the sand with your hands or with a shovel. Dogs like to play too. This dog digs in the sand on the beach. Guess what? A dog digs with its front paws. A mommy and daddy dig in the garden to plant flowers. Flowers grow in dirt. Roots grow down into the dirt. Leaves and flowers grow up towards the sun. Guess what? Food and water move up the roots to the flower. And you have your, your flower, your leaf, and your roots, the parts of a flower. People use big diggers called excavators to dig holes. Workers build new tall buildings. The building fits inside the big hole the excavator made. So there's the big hole that the excavator made, and the building's going to go on top. Very tall buildings are called skyscrapers. A mother polar bear uses her big paws to dig a den in the snow. It is winter time. A baby polar bear is born inside the cozy snow den. Guess what? A polar bear cub stays with his mother until the cub is two years old. It leaves the den in the springtime. A squirrel digs a hole to hide a nut. It hides lots of nuts that they will eat later. The hungry squirrel digs up the nuts it hid. It digs through the snow to find them. Guess what? Nuts that stay buried grow and they become trees. Look at all the diggers we learned about. Who digs to play? I think the little kid... Who digs to plant flowers? The mommy and daddy. Who digs a snow den? I think the polar bear. Who digs to hide food? The squirrel. And who digs to make new buildings? Ooh, that excavator. That's awesome. Hey, Izzy and Tessa, if y'all are both joining us. What did I say we were going to do? Since we were talking about bu 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 buildings, we're going to talk about the letter B. We're just going to go over it again. You might as well keep learning, even though we've been through all the letters again. So, down, you go down, and then you go bubble, bubble. So, B says b b b. Let's see. I have my B bag of the stuff we did last time. So, I'm going to pull out some stuff. And see if I can find some bee stuff. Let's see. Oh. <gasps> what is it? It's a balloon. Balloon. Let's see what else. Uh. Oh, this is hard. It's got a top on it. <gasps> it's a bottle. It's an orange juice bottle. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, this is another kind of bottle. It's a bottle of water. This is hard. It's a cube. b b b blocks Ooh, what is this? It's a ball. Carson was looking for that ball the other day. I should probably let him have it back. And then we have a block that has a bear on it. So, b b b b Let me show you the lowercase b, too. Okay. b b b b for bottle, bear, ball, balloon, block, and bottle. And our book later is Big Machines. b b b b So, we're going to put all of our B stuff back in the B bag. And we're going to start our calendar time. So, we are actually going to start counting by a different thing. Let's see. Because we're already up to 24, and that's a really big number for us. 
So we're going to start counting by like fives and tens. So that's what we're going to start doing today. Let's do our calendar, then I'll show you my machines. So even though we've done our alphabet, we can still sing it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know the ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? In our numbers, we can still count to 20 or 24. 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. But... Oh, silly kids are saying for some reason. Let's see. We are going to learn to count. We are already kind of counting by fives with our days of school, so we're going to learn to count by tens. So you, every day we'll add a new ten. So we today we have ten. Well, we'll start with two. Ten. Twenty. So let me show you my numbers. Ten, twenty. Ten, twenty. And then we'll add more tomorrow. I know you can't see me. Hold on. And we're going to add, I'm going to get our stickers for our days of school. Izzy, I hope you had a good day. Mommy said y'all were building a, a patio outside so y'all can enjoy the weather. I love it. Okay, so we will add our new numbers up. So we learned to count by our tens. And let's see. <clears throat> Our days of homeschool. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I might make a new one of that and put it on here so we can have all of our numbers too. Because it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then we'll have our numbers there. So we will add that on. Let's say hi to our friends who have been here today. Good ah, good evening, Izzy. You're the first on my list. Let's see who else was here today. Oh, Dylan and Devlin. Dylan and Devlin. I'm not sure who else was here. I don't think it was a quiet day. But I'm sure our friends will watch it later. Let's see. Now let's do our calendar. Sorry, get such a way to... It is still the month of April. A-P-R-I-L. April. It is not the 21st anymore. It's the 22nd. So it is Wednesday, April 22nd. And it was sunny. It was a beautiful day. I heard tomorrow's supposed to be a little rainy, but we'll see. Let's do our days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Now let's do our patterns. Didn't okay, got my blue pin. So our pattern this week is A, A, B, B. So it's circle, circle, square, square, circle, circle, square, square, circle, circle, square, square. What comes next? Circle, circle. They're actually ovals, looks. Square, square. Our patterns are getting so big for our sentence strip. Let's look at our new sight words. Let's go over the old ones. So, A and I. A book fell on my toe. And I said, Ow! Please go get me something out of the refrigerator. No, Carson, don't drink that. We went to the store and got a book for me. And it and in. 
Can you please go put the ice... Can you please go put it in the fridge? Because it will melt. So can you please go put the ice cream in the fridge? Because it will melt it and in. Let's see. Now I'm going to show you my construction things for today. So today we just really just talked about building and we just built stuff. The boys built with cereal boxes. The boys built with uh, apple sauces. It's kind of silly. So I'm going to show you the trucks we have. Let's see if I can get low so we can... Can you tell that we have lots of construction vehicles in this house? Dylan loves construction. So this, I believe it's like an excavator or a bulldozer. Well, it pushes it. See, Carson likes it because it talks. So that's a different kind because it can move all the equipment. So let's see what the next one is. We saw this the other day. I will try and post a video. This was a cement mixer. They were pouring a new sidewalk in my neighborhood. So the cement mixer came and it started rolling and it came down the chute and it got put on the sidewalk. That was pretty cool. <sighs> oh, excuse me. We saw this in my neighborhood yesterday too. Some form of this. <clears throat> I didn't know what the, uh, this was, but then I think it's a jackhammer truck. They were trying to tear up the old sidewalk, and so they'd put this down, and it'd go, it would shake, it would go, and it would break up the old sidewalk. So that was pretty cool. This one might not necessarily be a construction truck. Well, it could be. This is like a cherry picker. It, like, you might see, um, like electrical people, like people who work for the power company, they go up in here and then they lift it up. And so then they can work on stuff real high. Or maybe if they're trying to get something to the roof or get someone up there that is not there. So that's cool. Let's see. This is another construction vehicle. It's got the bulldozer on the front. I should just have Dylan say all this to you. It's got the crawler tracks. They don't have, a lot of them have wheels, just like this, but this one has, it's called crawler tracks, so they help it move, and this one, it can dig stuff, and then it moves it all the way to the back. I think this is kind of just a bigger version of the same thing, and it just digs it and moves it to the back, and this is probably one of the boys' favorite ones. Let's see if I can get it going. Let's see. It turns on, and it moves, so let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's see. Oh, let's see if I can get it to move. Whoa. Whoa, it's going to move the tracks out the way. And it can go backwards. I just realized this. Carson probably put a vehicle in there. Let's just see. What does this one do? Oh, it's got music. What does this one do? So I'll let you see that one again because that's pretty cool. And it can push. Oh, let me put it here and see how many trucks it can go out the way. Oh, it's making all my trucks go away. Oh. So now we got to back it up. So that's kind of cool. And it also has like an attachment on the back that can do stuff too. So that's all my machines I got. So it makes sense that we are going to read a book about big machines. Big Machines. It's by Karen Wallace. Big machines do big jobs. They can knock down an old factory. They can build a new park. But how do big machines work? A crane has a heavy ball. The ball swings through the air. Crash. It smashes into the factory wall. Bricks and rubble fall to the ground. Smash. Crash. Smash. A bulldozer has a huge blade. Scrape, scrunch. It pushes the rubble into a pile. What will it take? What will take the rubble away? So that looks like that. A loader scoops up the rubble with a huge metal bucket. The bucket dumps the rubble into a truck. The truck takes the rubble away. So the bulldozer kind of would do that. The yellow one over there. And then you would put it in a dump truck. But where's the truck? 
Here comes the dump truck. The dump truck has wide wheels that can roll over bumpy grounds. It has high sides so the rubble doesn't fall out. The factory has gone. The factory has gone. It is time to build a pond for the park. An excavator digs a hole. An excavator has a bucket with metal teeth that breaks up the earth. The bucket dumps the earth into a tipper truck. But where's the truck? Oh, we saw one of these the other day, too. Here comes the tipper truck. He's carrying new soil for the park. The back of the truck goes up and the tailgate opens. Whoosh! The soil slides into the ground. Whoosh! Whoosh! So all the materials in the truck and then it goes down. So it's kind of like a dump truck. It looks a little different. The pond needs concrete to align. It's to line its base. A concrete mixer brings concrete. Its drums goes around and around and concrete pours out of a special chute. When does the con when the concrete sets, it is hard and waterproof. So the concrete is all in there and then it comes down the chute to make whatever it's making. It's making a pond in this this picture. The pond is finished, but now it needs water. Here comes the water truck. It has a big tank full of water to fill up the pond. There's water all up in that truck. The, <coughs> the park needs a path for people to walk on. A roller has water inside its wheels that make the wheels heavy. They press down on the path until it's smooth and flat. The park needs grass for children to play on. A fork lift brings new turf. Long forks lift up the turf and carry it across the park. We'll go on a walk tomorrow and see if we can find this. We found this the other day in my neighborhood. They were getting ready to put new grass on a house, and we were able to look and touch it. The park needs plants. A van brings trees and flowers. Insects, animals, and birds will make the park their home. The park needs a playground. A big truck brings swings and slide. Big trucks carry things all over the world. Now the park is finished. Children play on the grass. People walk on the path. Birds sing in the trees. Can you remember when the factory was there? This man does. Big changes have happened. Big thanks to big machines that can do big jobs. So that was pretty cool. Well, it is now bedtime. I'm going to go put the boys down and hopefully have some quiet time myself. So I hope you have a good night. I love you. I miss you. And um, I will see you tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to talk about things we wear when we're building stuff that can protect us and help keep us safe. I think that's tomorrow or tomorrow might be tools. I don't know. Whichever one. So one day we're going to talk about different kinds of tools that you can use to build stuff. I actually think tomorrow's hammer day. Hammer. I'm sure Carson's going to love that. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.